Theory of Database Lecture number 10 SQL Language Database Security Indexes There is our plan number 1 Database Security and the number 2 Indexes There is our references of the lesson Structured Query Language SQL Emerging Standard Data Manipulation Language and the for relational databases. SQL, the structured query language or SQL defines a standard for interacting with relational databases. Most platforms support ANSI SQL 92 and the most platforms provide many non-ANSI SQL additions. Most important data modification SQL statements Select returning rows, update modifying existing rows, and the insert creating new rows, delete removing existing rows. Elements of SQL Select list of columns from tables desired. From IDs tables from which column will be selected where includes conditions for selecting specific rows conditions for joining multiple tables examples select from employees table and uh, etc indexing overview index considerations can dramatically increase query performance and the adds overhead for index maintenance. Best practices based design on real world workloads, SQL profiler and the execution plans, and the scenarios, retrieving ranges of data, retrieving specific values. Index types clustered index and the non-clustered index. Clustered in index controls the physical order of rows, does not require this space, one per table, and are created by default on table's primary key column. Non-clustered index physical data structures that facilitate data retrieval can have many indexes. Indexes may include many columns. Indexes really important to speed up query processing time. Suppose we have a relation and the person, name, social security number, age, city. An index on social security number enables us to fetch up a table for giving SSN very efficiently not have to scan or whole relation. The problem of deciding what, which indexes to put on the relation is very hard. It's called physical database design. Creating indexes. Create index SSN index on person, social security number. Indexes can be created on more than one attribute. Create index double index on and the person, name, social security number. Why not create indexes on everything? Threats to computer systems. Hardware, DBMS and application software, communication networks, database, data, database administrator, programmers and the operators and the users. You can read it yourself. Scope of data security needs. Must protect databases and the service on which they reside. Must administrator and protect the rights of internal database users. Must guarantee the confidently of e-commerce customers as they access the database. And uh, with the internet continually growing, 
the threat to data traveling over the network increases exponentially. Database protection requirements. Protections for improper access by unauthorized users. Protection from inference, usually statistical databases. And the integrity of the database, partly the job of automatic transactions, partly of the recovery mechanisms of the database and partly access control. Operational integrity, mainly the job of co concurrency control to phase locking. And the semantic integrity of data, mainly the job of the DBMS and integrity constraints. Security requirements, physical database integrity, logical database integrity, element integrity and the audibility, access control, user authentication, availability. Security requirements Physical database integrity and the logical database integrity. Physical database integrity Immunity to physical catastrophe such as power failures, media failure. Physical securing hardware, UPS regular backups, logical database integrity, reconstruction ability, maintain a log of transactions, replay a log to restore the system to a stable point. Security requirements, element integrity, auditability, integrity of specific database elements is their correctness or accuracy. Field checks allow only acceptable failures. Access controls allow only after the users to update elements change log used to undo changes made in error. Referential integrity, key integrity concerns and the two-phase locking process. Auditability log read or write to database security requirements access control similar to os logical separation by user access privileges more complicated than os due to complexity of db granularity and the inference or aggregation user authentication may be separate from OS, can be regular. Availability. Concurrent users, granularity of locking and the reliability. Database security. Threats to databases. Loss of integrity, loss of availability and the loss of competency. To protect database against these types of threats, Threats for kinds of countermeasures that can be complemented. Access control, inference control, flow control, and the encryption. User types for DBMS including security filters. Database administrator, application programmer, online query user, parameter user, use scanned applications. Security Administrator and the Security Auditor. Data repositories for DBMS including security. Database schema, actual data, performance data, indexes, histograms, logs for recovery purposes, user profiles or permissions, security rules or actions and their security log. So, in the real world, uh, database security protects the database against unwanted effects, accidental or deliberate. There is always a trade of between high security and performance or user convenience. Excessive security can in itself be a security threat workarounds.
The first step is always a security audit. This lecture looks at the use of encryption as part of a security policy. Before deciding on encryption, know the data and the database. What should be encrypted? Which encryption algorithms? DPMS or external encryption? What is the acceptable performance hit? And who are you protecting against? Is the benefit worth the cost? The role of encryption. Most database security techniques focus on controlling access passwords, privileges, encrypting data as it travels. There is much less focus on protecting data at rest, data in storage. We are assuming here that access encryption has already been used. This lecture focuses on data in storage. Encryption is increasingly being used to protect data in storage, which includes backups and all the pen drives, portable hard drives, mobiles that get lost or stolen. Encryption is often described as the last line of defense. Whole database encryption. The whole database is encrypted. This protects the data at rest but requires description for use. Whole DB encryption has traditionally been regarded as too expensive SQL Server TDE and the new WIS 2008 claims to reduce the performance hit but still acknowledges a cost. You can look at this picture yourself and the portal data encryption. Partial encryption provides more granularity plus the data is not descriptive and up until it is used. Usually referring to column encryption also it can be also be cell level or encryption of DB objects such as triggers. Rule of thumb encrypting a single column is likely to produce a 5% performance hit, but this varies widely. Traditional partial encryption can produce a massive performance hit as indexes are not recognized, but this depends on the DBMS. Highly configurable can allocate different keys to different users, with the downside that the this increases the key management problem. Partial data encryption. For SQL Server 2008, Microsoft suggests that with cell level encryption, basic QE performance tends to be around 20% worse. Problem increases with scaling. One cell Sample application with 10.0 uh, rows was four times worse with one column encrypted and 20 times worse with nine columns encrypted. Because uh, cell level encryption is custom to each application performance, the gradation will vary depending on application and workload. Specifics. In the custom to each application, this is an it depends area. The encryption process. Plant XT. Encrypt. Keep for text. Descript. And the plain text. Encryption algorithms, data encryption standard. DES has a short key plus 8 bits used for parity checking. But it's acceptable to put 
force attacks. And the no sane security expert would consider with DES to protect data. No outdated older versions of DPMS encryption routines use DES early versions of Oracle. And the encryption algorithms 3DES. The limitations of uh, DES led to 3DES use the DES algorithm but employs a triple key approach. Printers and the key protect. Much more secure but slower. Encryption algorithms AES key size and the consists of a set of processing rounds. The number varies depending on the key size. 14 rounds for 256 lens keys. More secure. And the encryption algorithms RC5. Symmetric, same key used for EN description. Block keeper. And the faster and flexible the user can specify the number of rounds allows for a variable length key supported in Oracle and DB2. Encryption in the DBMS. Some of the initial problems with DBMS encryption are on the way to being solved. Disk size was a major problem as keepers may produce output in fixed block sizes, meaning that the input must be padded, requiring resizing of columns. DBMS encryption was typically criticized for using outdated algorithms such as DES or even 3DS. And the Sometimes compatibility issues. A plus with DPMS encryption is that there should be minimal change implications. Key management. The encryption is only as, sec as secure as the key. DPMS based encryptions typically store the key inside the database, which raises issues such as how many keys, who manages them, where they store it, what happens if you lose your key, and the encryption service. As an alternative to encrypting within the DB, a central encryption server can be used to encrypt the application as well as in the database. This is a heavily vendor-led area benefits climate include more secure key management, wider choice of algorithms, wider co coverage of data, easier management of encryption, removing computation overhead from DBMS or application servers. The downside is Added complexity, applications changes, cost, and is the extra lawyer necessary? Furthermore, you should understand the significance of the different encryption algorithms, but the main areas to focus on are the benefits of encryption in a DB context. And there's a downside to encryption in a DB context. The business environment in which encryption would be useful. What and how you should encrypt if you decide encryption will be useful. How encryption will fit into your overall DB security policy. There is some questions for you. Number one, database security. Number two, threats to computer systems. Number three, security requirements. 
and then number four what is an index number five index types number six what are indexes used for thank you for attention